Hello everyone and welcome to a new video. Uh, in today's video we're going to be talking about how to upscale images using Comfy UI. Uh, Comfy UI is an open source uh, text image generation uh, software uh, that is really really powerful and uh, extremely advanced thanks to its uh, developers that keep updating it with the latest technology. I highly recommend uh, downloading it. And today we're going to be talking about upscaling images. So as you can see, this is the original image. This is 1.5x and this is 4x. So we're going to be talking about how to upscale these images in very, very simple workflow and using Comfy UI. So as you can see here, uh, what we have here is the load checkpoint, empty latent image, one. Uh, 1024 because this is an AGI Excel uh, ver uh, lightning model. It's available for silver and gold members in my coffee page. I have the negative as blur, distortion, text, watermark, and logo. So that's all I use for the negatives. Um, the text prompt here I generated from ArdeniusAI.com. Uh, so I just type dog and I got the prompt. Let's try something else. Let's see bird, for example. And let's see what prompt we get. So you go here, there are a lot of uh, AI experts in ArdeniusAI.com. You choose prompt engineer and type whatever you need. So let's see what we get for this prompt. For the bird. Did that overwrite? Okay, that's good. So uh, they're connected to the case sampler here. Uh, you have, um, depending on the model that you're using, my model uses 10 steps, 1.5 CFG, DPM++ uh, SDE as sampler, and SGM uniform as the scheduler. And then the first output here is going to the small image, the original image. The second one, you use upscale image by, this node and you can type whatever you want here but I highly recommend uh, you know upscaling to 1.5x and using the nearest exact I found this to be the best um, you, you have an input image and an output image so the node is called uh, upscale image by so if you double click and type the name it will show up here uh, the third image is the 4x image, is upscale image using model. And this one has an image as an input, image as an output, which goes to the 4x preview. And you have a, a upscale model. So the upscale model, I'm using 4x ultra sharp model. Uh, you download this into your uh, Comfy UI folder, then uh, models, and then upscale. Uh, upscale models. You just put it there, download it, and put it there. I'll have a link in the description. And then uh, once you generate, let's generate the bird and see what we get. Let's see the preview. Looks like it's uh, something at a lake. Or C, I'm not sure. We'll see how it goes. Hope it's a good image. <laughs> okay, I think it's got an extra wing here. <laughs> but uh, it looks nice. So I like the colors and everything, and you know, the sunset. So as you can see, let's generate another one. I don't like this one too much, so it depends on luck sometimes. Since it's a randomly generated image, sometimes you get, uh, you know, like these extra flaps. Usually get really accurate uh, images out of, uh, out of the generation, so I don't get that many bad images. But this one just happens to be, <laughs> maybe because I'm recording the video. But as you can see, the second image here is really nice. Look at that. 
Yeah, that's beautiful. That's really good. So this is the original image. This is the 1.5 X. And this is the 4 X here. So we got really nice images with reflection and everything and all that. So next time we're going to be talking about uh, a different way to upscale. This is the simplest way to upscale images. Uh, if you want to do something quick, uh, just use the upscale image by here and upscale image using model. Uh, Ultra sharp is really good. But next time I'm going to be uh, doing another video on upscaling like pre upscaling and post upscaling to get uh, uh, better results. Uh, I'll have the work this workflow and everything and uh, the download for the model uh, in the description. So make sure to check that out and make sure to subscribe for uh, future videos. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.